Well, y'all know that I showed you how I do my tablecloth every year at Thanksgiving. I let the everyone who's there write their name and I have a pen that's a certain color. And like this year, well, for last Thanksgiving, it was purple. And I have gotten a lot done, but I still like a few. And it's because I procrastinated. After Thanksgiving, I didn't want to work on it. It was Christmas. So I put it up. And normally, I will get it out about the end of September. Well, I waited a little bit longer, and it was more like two weeks ago that I got it out and got busy working. So, I'm thinking, you'll see what I'm working on right now, is Blake. What they did last year, they put his little foot down and traced... And Maddie, I think, wrote his name. And then you'll see right here is Nurse Raina. And that's Blake's mama, Amy. And let's see. Now, Bryce did this last year. This was in 2022. Two. That's right. Well, I saw, I got another big one. He locked. Bryce likes to write his name big, and I, I don't care. I like it, too. But I saw it right here. I've still got to do it. And I'll do it tonight. But I love doing this. And I said, you know, we still have lots of room on this. But I, I told Miami... Oh, probably two months ago, I said, I've got to get started on that tablecloth. And I said, you know, when I'm gone, nobody's going to want that. And she said, well, I do. And it is pretty neat because I look and I see people who weren't with us, who aren't with us anymore. And they're in heaven. But I also see some people that a lot of people are and I want to continue to do this and I'm going to have this finished I'm going to sit here and work on it if I can do five names a day I'll have it finished before Thanksgiving and I think I can how many years have you done it all right I did it in 2019 then we didn't have a family Thanksgiving 2020 because of COVID and people couldn't get out. So I've done it every year since then. So 2019, 2021, 22, 23. I have four years of uh, names. The first year was green or was it red? You got a 19 key. is red. Yeah. Not, and I have a little scale that I, I'll put 2019 in red. And then 2021 was green. And 2022 was... Must have been blue. It was blue. And then 2023 is purple. I don't know what color the next one's going to be. I'll just decide because I've got all colors of embroidery thread. But if I would, I would recommend if you want to start this tradition. You know, we just have a lot of folks at Thanksgiving. Harold, how many do you, we have? Because they're not going to, we have between 45 and 55 every year, don't yeah, we? Yeah, just about. And, and some, like this year, I don't know, uh, I have nephew. And his uh, bride to be are in Wyoming. Yeah, Dalton is out there. I don't know if anybody else is far, that, far away. I know Dalton and Allie came last year. Cause Maybe they'll come home. I don't know. I haven't talked to Danny. But um, I do know that if you only have twenty or twenty-five, 
it wouldn't take you long. And I just do like a straight stitch, however they sign their name. If they sign it big or small or in cursive or not. Who's, who's, there's one in cursive. But that, that, that. All right, here's one. Gary and Connie. This was in 2019. And Connie I think so. has passed away. Has passed away. And there's Ann. It was one that my sister-in-law Ann. But anyway, it's a good it's a <clears throat> good thing there. And I think, with the exception of Raina, who came last year, Bryce uh, Blake's nurse. I think everyone are, are kin folks, uh -huh. I believe. Unless they're they're a boyfriend or girlfriend of one of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. But they're they're tied to kin folks. Somehow. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. And um it's something that you'll have. I would suggest you get a rectangular one. I the first year it was spur of the moment. I think it could have been Thanksgiving morning and I thought I want to do this. And I had an oval tablecloth because at that time I had an oval table. And I have said, I don't know what I'm going to do. And some of you suggested that I cut it off and sew it onto uh, a long rectangular. And I will probably do that, but I'm not going to do it until every spot yeah. is full. But I just wanted to show you what I've been working on today. And um, this is my helper right here. Scott gives his approval. He's right with me all the time. All the time. But um, it's just, it's pretty neat. And some of the grandkids will do hearts. That's Maylee. Uh-huh. I saw, um, well, Bryce did too. Bryce was probably four years, let's see, in 19, he was four years old, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think he's born in 15, yeah. Uh-huh. So, it's it's something that means something to me. There's Ann's name. Where? I think. Right there. Yep. Yep. That's right. Kim Kim is Ann's daughter. Mm-hmm. And Ann, my two sisters-in-law, um, Ann, who lived right next door to me, and then Connie, who is was Gary's wife from Florida. They passed away um, four days apart. It was such a shock for both of them. Um, Anne had, um, she found out on Sunday that she had um, a very bad kind of leukemia. And then on Tuesday, she had a stroke and died. And then Connie had been sick for several weeks and the doctors couldn't find what was wrong with her. And finally they said she had non-alcoholic cirrhosis of the liver and it, it was, had progressed too far. They could not do anything and she died. She died first and then, and four days later, it was a rough year. And this year you had cancer. Mm -hmm. Yep. Year I had cancer. I had had one treatment when they passed away. So, you know, we never know. That's why it's so important to always be ready. It doesn't matter your age. There's a lot of young people that I know that, um, you know, people just don't think, but we're not promised tomorrow. But I wanted to share this with you and thank you for joining me. And this is Home with Mama Sue. This is what I'm doing. So Harold said, let me show folks. Just remember to be salt and light, and I'll be back soon.